I'm from Miami, Florida, and I'm an artist and a filmmaker. This is Shivers. It's a real dog. And a lot of my work is sort of exploring different iterations of identity, experience, and environments. A lot of the themes that come up in my work are value and dependency and adaptation. I work on a lot of different mediums, from installation to sculpture to painting to telephone numbers to billboards, really whatever makes sense for the project. I've been working on a lot of different projects while in residence at Bemis, from uh, a larger film project that uh, I shot in Florida that will join a lot of other different filmmakers as part of a feature film, to many ceramic pieces that deal with value and dependency and nostalgia of currency, uh, to also expanding my practice to get into a more utilitarian sort of furniture line um, thinking about space and how to set spaces and how to build environments has always been a natural interest of mine as someone who worked in installation. But now trying to abstract that and trying to think about how uh, a person might be able to live with some of these pieces, not just an art collector. It's a natural transition for me to explore sculpture for the home. So I was not trained as a sculptor per se, definitely not as a designer, but I'm someone who comes to materials and tools and tries to learn as much as I can in this kind of ad hoc way. I'm always trying to figure out what I can get from the materials and what I can get from the form, so it's kind of this collision. Recently I've been just sort of trying to build my sketches into real life objects. And I don't really like to measure. Uh, I know it's a useful approach to building things, but it tends to be less fun. So I try and see what I can do without the formalities. And it leads to very odd shapes at times or things that just fail right off the bat. But I'm interested in that, that learning curve. Uh, so I've been working on a new body of work of textile-based paintings that are a sort of a collaboration with a utilitarian um, upholstery machine and kind of going back in some type of chopped up conversation with myself as a tool and then the tool you, being able to use me. Um, I'm really just figuring it out and I'm using the time at Bemis to really just explore and experiment and fail and um, see what I can do and how I can push it. Another project that I've been developing and uh, working through while I've been in residence is a nomadic residency that would be taking a lot of cues off of survivalist and prepper culture, thinking a lot about uh, what it means to prepare for something somewhat unpreparable for, uh, thinking about value and um, notions of the end or what it means to move into a period where the end might be on the forefront. So I've been trying to create some type of refuge uh, that can host artists and give artists and creatives a place off grid, away from traditional settings to explore and to think about the work that they might be making when certain things that have been promised to them as some type of permanent are no longer an option. So whether it's economic or uh, infrastructural or environmental collapse that is looming in our subconscious or perhaps right on our, our doorstep, what and how does the role of the artist change in those sort of circumstances? And what can we do now in order to prepare? What does it mean to be an artist that makes physical work when uh, the borders or the edges of uh, territories or lands are being renegotiated in real time. I like to come to residencies to think about how I would shape a residency that I'm trying to make. So at some point we'll be bringing this mobile residency to Omaha and I'm excited about that.